Hi Rams. Happy Friday. I'm Colton. And I'm Star. And here is your news for today. Today, September 30th, we have a varsity football game versus PHS at 7 p.m. And it is at Sparks, I believe. So excited. And I think it's USA themed. So, get there. All right, we've got the Rogers dance team. They're going to have an info meeting on the 3rd from 5.30 to 6. And the PSAT is an optional test you guys can take. It's Saturday, October the 15th. And um, it costs money, $25 for juniors and seniors and 10th graders test for free. All right, we got homecoming. Theme is a night under the stars. Uh, please purchase your tickets with ASB, saving a good amount of money and uh, get them as soon as possible. You know, just save that dough. Uh, tickets are available at the bookkeeper's office. Um, it's gonna be October 15th from seven to 10 p.m. And then coming right up, we got a QR code. If you'd like to help with it, you can scan that QR code. Um, take a second to do that, and you can help participate. And Character Strong this week, we have an interview with Mrs. Marco, Ms. Sorrell, and Ms. Hannah Lawson. Have a great Friday, Rams. Um, the Arches Commoner is our school's journalism publication. Um, in uh, its original form, it was a newspaper, a paper newspaper. Uh, it was founded back in the late 60s when the school opened. Um, it ran continuously up until about, I want to say five or six years ago. Um, and then the class dropped off, the enrollment kind of dropped, class dropped off. Uh, now it lives on as a website, so it's a news website. Um, and we have resurrected the class, which is super awesome. So the newspaper production class is the class that produces the RHS Commoner. So the first time, honestly, no, I'm not sure, um, it's, but it's really normal for schools to have, you know, school newspapers. Um, and so, you know, I assume when Rogers opened again in the late 1960s, um, they just sort of like figured out, you know, okay, so we're gonna have a newspaper, right? PHS has Viking Vanguard, you know, similar kind of deal. Um, so I assume that's how it happened then. This time around, um, it was, it showed up on the class uh, registration, the, the student registration forms as an option. Um, and Principal Smith said, hey, you know, if you can get enough kids to sign up, then we'll, we'll resurrect resurrect the commoner and I was like okay so I tried real, real hard because over the last few years I've been trying to keep it afloat as a, as a club which um, you know we kind of did but, but that was tough COVID made that even harder um, so I drum, tried to drum up interest visited like every English class to tell kids about it um, and yes yeah, so we got a staff of about 25 kids that signed up and um, that's how it came to be this time around. Yeah, so like news, mostly. Um, so if you think about things that, you know, might appear in, you know, any newspaper, the Tacoma News Tribune, Seattle Times, whatever, um, you know, those kinds of things. So when we think about news, we're thinking about, um, you know, stuff that affects the lives of students here at Rogers. It's going to be Rogers focused. So um, things that students need to know in order to sort of navigate their way around this campus and make decisions about things they want to do around this campus. Um, so that's going to be the main focus. Uh, students will be featured. We'll learn about you know people on this campus. Um, you know, just think about stuff people might want to know. You know, what's going on around this campus. That mostly is going to be is going to be it. So it's at rhscommoner.com. And I'm not sure when this is going to air, but uh, it's going to be it's going to be a couple weeks before the website's up and running. But um, yeah, that's where they will be able to find it once we get everything on there. Hi Rams, it's me again. 
and this week I've been thinking a lot of things, asking myself questions and such, especially about Character Strong. Like, what are the teachers thinking, and how can I better connect with my classmates? So today, we have three different questions with three different people. So exciting! Let's get to it! Hi, Mrs. Marco. Hi. How are you today? I'm doing great. Great. So why do you think Character Strong is important? That is a really big question. I think it's important for us to give time to thinking about mental health and emotional health, health and well-being and building character because that's something we really don't take time for in classes so spending a little extra time is good. Wow, that, what a great answer. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hi, Ms. Sorrell. Hello. How are you today? Peachy. That's so great. <laughs> so what this year makes you nervous about um, Character Strong? The thing I'm nervous about, I guess, is that kind of the concept of one size fits all. Um, not all of us uh, deal with things the same way, know how to handle the, the information, especially in, a, a, I think, a touchy subject like social and emotional uh, learning. Um, we're not going to all have that the, the, the same delivery. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm nervous that, you know, if there's someone who may not be, you know, um, all in on the, the way of the delivery, that it's going to be hard for that person to then uh, interpret that to the students in the class. Wow. What a great wow. answer. Let's hear from the students. <laughs> As I stated earlier, I'm trying to better connect with my classmates. So today, we have Hannah Lawson to answer a question. Hi, Hannah. Hello. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? That, I feel I'm great, doing great. <laughs> Thanks for asking. What's one thing we wouldn't guess about you? I have a pet bearded dragon. Wow. I feel more connected to you already. Have a great Friday, Rams. Rams, I'm Mr. G, aka Mr. Gorski. Welcome to the art studio. This is uh, Munson Art Studio here. We've got ceramics on this side with Miss Erin. On my side, we've got we've got drawing, painting, design. We've got AP uh, 2D art and design, and also AP drawing this year. Come on in, give you a tour. This is where the magic happens. We've got. Tons of talented, talented artists here. We have our uh, art library. Students can check out books, get kind of improve their art skills that way. Uh, we have we got tons of paint, tons of supplies. Uh, we've got our, our two different stations for paint for the sinks, that kind of stuff. A bunch of materials here. This is where I usually sit, kind of my throne. Uh, we have our own custom uh, little chandelier up here with the origami birds. We've got some exhaust fans over there for spraying the art, keeping it smeared. We've got some more. Another paint station here. Dry racks for our projects. There's a ton of ton of work uh, that happens all throughout the year. Back here is our tradition. We have Roger's wall. All my seniors get to sign the wall when they graduate. Super cool. Um, yeah, if I ever have a cruddy day, I come back here and I read all the messages that students have written and I'm just reminded of why I do what I do. So, love, I love, love working here in the studio. Um, definitely, yeah, if you're interested in art, uh, take a class with me, but we also have an uh, art club uh, every Thursday after school. Runs till five o'clock. We're starting our first one on October 6th, so coming up pretty soon.
Mr. Smith, wake up.